Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Let us see what are the important updates from yesterday. Let us start with the first news. Delhi government has decided to set up a plasma bank in the national capital for the treatment of the COVID-19 patients. Earlier the trials were conducted of the plasma theory in the capital itself and these showed the results that uh, plasma theory helps to normalize the oxygen levels and the respiratory levels among the covid-19 patients and so delhi government would be setting up a plasma bank which would be operational in next 2 days how the bank would operate plasma can be donated by those patients who have been fully recovered from covid-19 also they have antibodies in their body and so this antibodies protects them from the virus and gets healthy and it is believed that this plasma taken from the recovered covid-19 patients will have a positive impact on the existing covid-19 patients and so this plasma will be used in their uh, treatment this plasma bank would be india's first plasma bank to treat corona virus patients the delhi chief minister arvin kejriwal announced that anyone who needs plasma will need a recommendation from a doctor or a hospital the plasma will not be given without a doctor's consent the citizens will not be able to contact the plasma bank directly the concerned doctor or hospital must approach the plasma bank directly currently Delhi is the worst affected state during the time of pandemic in this country. It has a total of 83000 cases among which 27000 to 28000 cases are active cases. Yesterday the prime minister of India addressed the nation. The key highlights of the speech were Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana, One Nation One Ration Card scheme and lock two measures the center has decided to extend the pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana till november end under this scheme the center will provide free ration to approximately 80 crore people till november also the implementation of one nation one ration card scheme announced to assist the migrant laborers which will give them access to get free ration from the government now let us go through the third news during this time of pandemic when every process in the world is on halt everyone is concerned about the launch of gaganyaan but the union minister jitendra singh has assured citizens that india's first human space mission Gaganyaan will not be affected by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Recently, the government has also decided to encourage private participation in ISRO's activities. Recently, due to coronavirus, the training of four astronauts of India in Russia was halted. But the scientific team in ISRO has confirmed that there has been a buffer zone kept by the scientist between the training program and the launch deadline so the gaganyaan project will not be affected by the corona virus and uh, it will be launched in the year 2022 gaganyaan mission is the first mission in which indians will be able to go into the space and this mission is planned to be launched before 75th year of indian independence now coming towards international news yesterday the chinese parliament has passed a controversial national security law for hong kong this law includes a maximum penalty of life in jail and this law is expected to be on force from july 1 July 1 is marked as the anniversary when Hong Kong's uh, sovereignty was transferred to China by the Britishers in 
and so the latest con- controversial national security law will be on effect from July 1 2020 China had been planning to pass this national security law for some time also the hong kong parliament has been bypassed and was not asked anything about this law moreover the draft of the bill was also not made public so a majority of people in hong kong have not yet seen the details of the law which will be governing them the crimes in the bill would include secession subversion against the chinese government terrorist activities and collusion with foreign forces to endanger the national security china would be establishing a special police bureau in hong kong under this law to oversee its implementation moving on towards our last news india's drug regulator the central drugs standard control organization has allowed bharat biotech india bbil to conduct human clinical trials for covaxin so what is covaxin and how is it developed covaxin is considered to be a vaccine candidate that means a possible vaccine and it is developed by bharat biotech in collaboration with icmr's national institute of virology initially covaxin underwent preclinical testing which is when the vaccine is tested on animals to keep it safe and after that the uh, bbil approached the india's drug regulator for the approval of human trials during the development of covaxin the national institute of virology isolated one strain of the virus from an asymptomatic patient and transferred it to the bharat biotech then the firm used it on developing an inactivated vaccine a vaccine that uses a dead virus once the vaccine is injected into a human uh it has no potential to infect its body because it is a dead virus and it just serves to the immune system as a dead virus and uh it mounts as an antibody response towards the corona virus other indian firms are also working towards development of corona virus vaccines like zydus cadila Serum Institute of India which is in collaboration with Oxford University to develop a vaccine for coronavirus and uh, earlier in this month one firm which also jumped into making a vaccine of coronavirus is the Panacea Biotech so this is it for today if you like this video subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates from our channel